So I'm going to open the Town of Deerfield Select Board Board of Health meeting for March 25th, 2022 at 3.05 p.m. Uh, this meeting is on re remote on Zoom. So meetings normally held at the municipal offices are being held remotely with adequate alternative means of public access and where required public participation provided in accordance with the governor's March 12th, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, Mass General Law Chapter 30A, Section 20. Meetings are typically broadcast on Frontier Community Access Television, which I believe this one is as well. So you uh, can dial in at 312-626-6799 or toll free at 833-548-0276. The meeting ID is 911-604-1580 and the passcode, should you need it, is 570012. If you go on the Town of Deerfield website, calendars on the bottom right click on the select board meeting there's a link for the zoom and uh, so just meeting attendees just mute your phones unless asking a question and then you can star six to unmute as well so welcome call the meeting to order we have public comment first up anybody from the public wish to speak denise do you yes i would love to speak okay so i am um... Okay, I know you guys talked about this, I think, briefly the other day and had some current concerns. And this is this pertains to the complete neighborhoods partnership. You know, first of all, this is this is something that we would be in partnership with a number of other towns. And the only reason that we would qualify is to actually be on the coattails of the other towns because I think both Deerfield and Waitley would not qualify on their own. Okay. I mean, I used, I used to deal with this at work too. We would have to, you know, tap into um, a, you know, a poor community to actually be eligible for some grant funding. At any rate, this is something that um, did you guys get? The, did you get the email from Lily this morning? Yes, but I've just been working, so I haven't had a chance to. You haven't to had read a chance it. Yeah. to read it. Okay, no. well, I guess you had some questions, so she reached out to Alyssa, and basically, I'll just paraphrase. Um, Let's see, she got answers from Melissa LaRose, HRA, RDI, and Christine Medor, Midori, um, MHP Senior Development Manager. And that was questions on the applicability of the geothermal and landscape technical services for the municipal campus. So basically what this is, is would be, um, we'd be joining a partnership with the other towns. Greenfield would take the lead on this. They would be the point of contact. There are absolutely no reporting requirements. And you know what? This is the first thing I asked Lily. I said, you know what? Our admin administration is tapped out. They can't take anything else on right now because I know. <laughs> and she said, no, absolutely no court reporting requirements. She said, what we do need is a point person. I said, okay, I'll be the point person. It's one meeting a week, like an hour a week, maybe for three or four weeks and then sporadically. And that's even if we would get some funding. Um, and this is basically to hire technical assistance. Okay, there is. Um, so there's actually no cash coming into town. There's no cash. What they would do is. I'm not worried about the cash. I'm worried about the time. So if we, there's if you no, can guarantee me, none of our staff are going to work no, on this. No, no. I none. would be, I would be the point person. And, and Lily and I are the backups. If they might be getting information to relay to them. Um, they hire third party people. We don't get any money. We don't have to verify anything. We don't have to report. There is no burden on the town. They hire the people and they pay them. So I, I was, that's one of the first questions I asked because I know how <laughs> tapped out everyone is. Um, and I'm just glutton for punishment, Trevor. Yeah. So that's why, I, yeah. But I think this is good because it really, you know, the purpose of this is to, um, well, we're hoping the geothermal, which is going to be, which would be amazing for, for the whole town, for the whole municipal, all the municipal buildings and the plans that we have. And, you know, this is supposed to be, um, to get this technical assistance, it's a critical path to build affordable housing near mobility hubs and transit. We had a really good meeting with Hannah, who is the new person down in Waitley. And you know they're they're doing this as well. So um, you know, so we were just talking about. Like Lily also sent me sent the map. I mean, which could be changed a little bit. And I don't have it. 
I mean, do you guys have- Well, it goes from Greenfield, Montague, Irving, and Orange, and then it drops down to, well, hopefully Deerfield and then Whateley. Right, but we looked at, <clears throat> excuse me, we looked at our map, you know, what- Oh, what in the, our community, yes. yes. What the distance would be. So Lily and Hannah were talking about that. And basically I think what would happen is our, our maps would touch. So, you know, it's really talking about a walkable community. And we did talk about the other night in the planning board, we talked about, we talked about um, upzoning and mixed use zoning, you know, cause again, you know, one of our, <laughs> what we want to do is we have, we want to have more economic development. We want to have some affordable housing. We want economic development. So, so that's something that the planning board is going to start working on this summer as well. The upzoning, mixed use zoning. Um, it's called, I guess it's called form-based zoning. So there's there's a lot of work that we have to do. So we're going to start working on that this summer. But it really it really directly relates to the complete neighborhoods partnership. And you know even if you know even if we get ten thousand dollars to put towards a study, that's ten thousand dollars less that we have to pay. So I mean I I don't see any any downside about joining this. You know, once again, I think it gets us out there into, um, you know, people are a little more, bit more aware of Deerfield and what we're doing, what we're planning on doing. So, you know, I just think it's a win-win situation and it's, it's not gonna be a burden on the town, so. I'm just Preston? reading, I'm, I'm just reading for, for a moment. Okay. Wait, wait one second. multitasking here. Um, and so again, if I made a motion to support this, we would be um, not spending any town staff on it. It's, it's this group here, you're the CCI group, I guess, that's working on this? Yes. We're the ones that are going to make sure it happens if we get, I mean, we I mean, don't. I know it's a long not, shot anyways, yeah. looking at this. Um, yeah. I don't know. But it is for technical assistance, and that's what everybody is short of. Right. And if technical assistance, if this will give us an opportunity to make a better decision, that's that's really worth it right there, no matter what the money thing is but um we're, you know the kind of stuff that we're talking about we're trying you know this is like this geothermal system we've mm -hmm. really got to make sure that it's going to work yeah I, I'm and and very, very skeptical on that because again you need heating and air conduct in all of your buildings not just hot water to make it worthwhile i mean so just the cost of putting the machine the thing in and then hooking it up to the buildings and making sure that i mean obviously a new building that we would build we could put ductwork in to make it worthwhile, but and then and then the electricity that's got to run those pumps constantly. That's why a lot of people that I've talked to that put them in residences have shut them off because they they cost too much money to run the pumps. And well, so they, and you know, that's why you know when we were talking to UMass that you know oh no you just run it off solar. Well then you got to yeah. have enough solar. So mm -hmm. how are we? You know so there's just Trevor. There's just so many questions yep. and 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 this is not money to plan this is not money to um well it could be to plan i guess but it is it is money to give us 
assistance, a third party objective assistance mm -hmm. in helping make good decisions. That's all. Exploration. I mean, you know, Trevor, as you said, there may be there may be some issues with it. So then we would find out and then you go into plan B. But right. you know, if we don't know, then how do you know what you don't know? So I, I think I think it's a great opportunity to do that. Um, it just seems like this grant is geared, if I read this, it seems like this grant is geared towards Northborough, where they have like a large, they want to put in a large housing complex, but there is like Route 9, Route 2, and all these other routes kind of like blocking off access so they want to look is. at it is. hubs and stuff. So it doesn't seem like it fits our needs very well. So it just does it's, seem like That's absolutely to. true. That's absolutely true. But... What happens is, as you know, 95% of the money does go to the yeah. eastern part of the state. But guess what? They ha can't not give a few dollars out to the western part of the state. We are always shorted. So the idea is, if you look at the grant, there's two other sections, and we fit into this section. Mm -hmm. And yes, we're only getting a tiny bit of money compared to the eastern part of the state. But if we uh they have to throw out a few dollars so we just have to be the first in line we've got nothing to lose you know, yeah there's nothing, nothing to lose, lose. just you don't even have to write anything you don't even have to write anything trevor Wait. okay i'll just come and report what's going on again i just it can't land on our desk or else it's just going to stop i already told you not that. that not that we don't want to do it. it it's just that until we get enough staff to do this with a grant writer and a planner and all that stuff. I mean, that's where our, our money and our effort should be going towards getting a planner to do this stuff. You look at the paper and there's just planners are laying out job, you know, projects all over the, the valley and we're not because we don't have a planner. Very frustrating. So, all right. Are we waiting for Dave still to take a vote? Um, well, I will make a motion to support this. Casey, you shook your head as, no, we're not waiting for him, or? I don't know. I texted him. I haven't heard back. He might be tied up in a, in a sale or something, working. So that's that's fine. Okay, I'll support that, Carolyn, based on your motion and based on all the information given here and that has been recorded. <laughs> Trevor, Trevor. Just remember, it's been recorded. Yes. Are you seconding, Trevor? I will second that motion, Carolyn. Thank you. Okay, so you know I won't throw you under the bus. I know. Okay. But I also know it's HRA. They come up with things to do that you never would expect. <laughs> yeah, but when you think about what, just just a sidebar, we, we've been participating in that rehab, housing rehab thing. Yeah. And heart, you know, it's two letters a year. And, and that's, you know. No, it's a whole PR campaign. I know. It's a whole PR campaign that we have to push out on our website, Carolyn. I know, but Casey, take But what you out. don't understand is that it's a lot of work in here. We did eight meetings yesterday. Yeah. I, I did seven myself. I okay. hear you, but yeah, eight no. meetings from 12 for 12 hours for people yeah. who've already worked 12 hour days, three days before. Yeah. I know. That's a lot of work, Carolyn. It's wearing us all out. I know. I'm emphatic about it because I'm worn out. Yep. And he's not, when Trevor says this, he's not wrong. He's in here the most. He sees the level of wear and tear on us. We all know. I mean, everybody knows. I just. Everybody knows, Casey. I know. One of, okay. This is, this is, we're taking this on 100%. Lily, okay. I got you. and I are taking this on. Okay. Yep. But this is an opportunity. I think that's really important. Okay. But you need some, one of you needs to call the vote. Oh, um, I'm, uh, so all those in favor? Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Trevor McDaniel. Sorry to be such a stick in the mud. I really don't mean to be. I, I think, you know, these kind of things I think I am excited about, but I just looking at where we're at as a town, we need to focus in another spot just a little bit more. I think it's always good to exercise caution. I appreciate yep. that. Okay. Um, all right. So then, um, as fun as this is, I think I'll. As fun as it is, oh, as come it is on. you'd like to go away now. Don't go yet. <laughs> Run away, Denise. I'm going to pull up the Bye. agenda here. Have so. a great weekend. You too. Yes. Take care. You too. Thank you. Yes, Denise. Thank you.
Thank you. The Do next you thing on the agenda, the Trevor, is the annual town meeting warrant. Yeah, so um, Kate, uh, Carolyn, I wanted to talk a little bit about this because I feel like we're getting close to like closing this up, but we don't have any money yet in here for the sewer. And we do need to do, um, you know, so so let me just recap a little bit. Um, can I share my screen? Yeah. Let me do that. Um, see what I have open here. Now, which when you say sewer, are you talking? South Deerfield. South Deerfield. Yeah, right, Deerfield. Trevor? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, one sec. I'm just going to uh, bear with me one minute. Let me just find that. Okay, great. I got that up. Uh, go back to the meeting. I didn't think that we had to because we had already well, appropriated 19 million. I didn't think that we had to do any more. Well, we have uh, we have another 3 million that needs to happen there. So let me just go over this real quick. This was in okay. the, your thing the other day. So yeah, uh, uh, let me just slide this to the bottom so I can roll this down. Um, so Yep. I thought just let me back up because I, I I guess I'm confused because I thought we had I had I thought we had uh let me I can pull it out um I thought we had three million we do three million nine hundred eighty eight thousand eight hundred ninety five dollars left over yeah let, let I'll just I'll go through this okay. so we had the 19 million that we appropriated we started off with the project um and we were hoping to get you know a $11 million project. That bid came in much higher, right? Because we pulled some stuff right. from phase two into phase one, and then just the bidding requirements, you know, what what we got was much higher. So um, so ongoing phase one, bids were open for, um, you know, uh, we, for about 12 million, six, uh, 625,532 versus the budget from USDA, which was 9 million uh 398 159 so including the uh required contingency an additional 4 million 837 604 was required to proceed with the base bid and all the alternates because we we decided to you know bid the alternate separately and we thought well let's just go and do them now because they're only going to be more expensive later so right. we did that and that um the town applied for the additional loan from usda of Two million nine hundred eighty-seven thousand, and plans to locally finance the remaining um, one million eight hundred fifty thousand six hundred four dollars. Um, bid pricing was higher than expected for the following reasons, which was just we pulled some yeah, stuff from phase two. Yeah. Mechanical yeah. contractors are bidding more, and obviously COVID. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. That was the sixteen million that we voted to go ahead with. Um, three, roughly $3 million left in that $19 million appropriation. So there's an op the opportunity right now is to do two change orders. One would be to take this contingency that we have, this 1.2, and do one change order for that. And that change order would look like this. We would do a change order for 900,000 roughly. We would keep 370 because there's about 250 that we need for electrical change orders that may happen. Yep. And then we have, you know, just the regular change, you know, the contingency mm -hmm. that we have on the project. Um, so that one change order, we're still at, we haven't spent any other money. We haven't appropriated any other money. We're just taking the contingency money and doing a portion of phase, uh, of phase two. Okay. Um, and then the, op the opportunity we have under mass law, the ability to do a change order, I think up to uh, 35% of the project. So, the plan, uh, so looking ahead to the next uh, plan phase two upgrades, at the completion of phase one, there'll be approximately 3 million remaining within the existing 19 million that was appropriated to, to uh, remain within the existing appropriation amount. These remaining uh, needs have been prioritized. So raise the existing secondary clarifier walls and mechanical equipment, new floating aerators. So get rid of that, you know, the big fans. Um, process analyzers, SCADA modifications and uh, process control related electrical work. So what we would do is use that second change order to use to spend up to that 19 million. So just get that done. So I'd like to move ahead with those two. They don't require any votes, anything on the right. town warrant, right. anything like that. So what's left to do with the plant? So um, is, let's see, let me find this here. 
So what's uh, so phase two project scope has been developed based on the need for the facility to continue to current future permit compliance. All the potential upgrades have been deferred to a future phase three. So included in the proposed phase two would be retrofit the north aeration basin and installation of new floating um, aerators to match the work performed on the south aeration basin, solid handlings upgrade, so new rotary drum thickener, sludge storage tank and sludge uh, loadout pump, dewatering building uh, roof replacement, biological nitrogen removal, so the BNR upgrades to aeration tanks, additional addition of mixers to each of the four tanks. Secondary uh, electrical upgrades, interconnection piping, skate installation, existing effluent pumping building. So the estimated project costs um, for phase two are presented in the following table. So we have you know the change order phase one, the change right. order phase two, and then this final phase three, um, which is about three million bucks roughly. Um, so that if we want to, <clears throat> so the, the first two columns we'd like to do quickly so that we could try and hang on to right. waterline. The, yeah. the, the second one, the last column, the third column, we'd really love to see if we can go out to bid pretty quickly on that to see if they, you know, if they don't have to mobilize, there's no guarantee that they would bid it or that they would stay there, but, but we would save some money. So the, the question is, do we go after grant money for that $3 million? Um, Talking with Dave, he felt like, well, the cost to go and try to get um, SRF money or USDA money, the time that that would take and the the savings wouldn't qualify. Like you get a twenty percent grant, you'd probably spend twenty percent in right. mobilization, I know. I agree. I agree. all that I agree. stuff. So the thought would be to finance this on our own, and then talk with nonprofits, talk with USDA and focus on Old Deerfield as a grant infrastructure help getting money for. So the question is, do we wanna put a $3 million article on this town warrant and do a debt exclusion for it um, for this year? And, and because it's, it's really only gonna get more money, you know, cost more, more money down the road. And we have the possibility of kind of hanging on to waterline and you know, there's no guarantee. If the bids don't come back well, then we just we sit on it. We don't do it. But okay, that's the um, question because we only have till Monday to put a ballot question on the ballot. Okay, so let's put a placeholder on on the warrant yep. for this. Okay. okay. I I mean that would be my recommendation. Um, we can always we, bypass it. Right. It should be on the capital yep. committee, so it needs to be. So now um, I have to write the application for that. That's what you didn't understand, Trevor, when you asked me this a half hour ago. Yeah. I have to write an entire application, get it through capital, get it to finance. Fine, I'll do that. It's gotta um, happen one way or the other. Okay, or we Trevor, don't do Why it. does it have to happen the day that we're closing the warrant? I've been asking about and talking about this sewer stuff for months, right? We've had I understand things. that. Why I did we not have this conversation one. in December? I can't be the only one to do this. I don't know how to look. I'm not I don't have a mind for all this and the financing and the timing. All I can tell you is that it just gets more money the, the longer we wait. I Casey, don't if worry don't about the applicant. We won't no, do it. No, no, no. Trevor. The application will take me 10 minutes if I do it. The issue is, is I have to put a ballot question together. I have to reference, I have to actually put the request so that to see if the town will vote. That I I have background language that I just found to be able right. to do that. Keep so I get right. that part. But what I don't what I want everybody to understand is this is snap my fingers, do it now, interrupt everything else on my plate for the day. Well, because don't. this is not a small process. Then I'll do it. I'm here. You can't do it. Why not? Because you're in eight different documents to find all the information. We put a placeholder on, so I got a placeholder. I, got, I now have two different versions of this warrant up in front of me. I got 2019's warrant right there. Just changed the number. I know. I'm already there, Trevor. The point is, is I had other things I needed to do for the rest of the day after the meeting. I, I thought know. we were going to go through the warrant. So you guys still need to go through the warrant. 
Yep. So why don't you start that? I have a placeholder. We can okay. move it around, but I also have a ballot question. But the point is, is this is what I mean about throwing things at a radar screen with no warning. Well, I, I don't know how else to say no warning, but we've been working on sewer for like three years. I don't, I, I don't have a mind when it comes to how time frames are or when it's got to be posted or when it's got to be on this thing. I just ask that stuff get done and we got to get it done. And if it can't happen, then it can't happen and we'll have to do it another time. I just feel like if we have the ability and can make it happen, great. If we can't, fine. I, I, mean, I think we need the, I think we need the option of um, making it happen. Um, it should be on the warrant article. Casey, don't worry about the Capital Improvement Committee. You know, they're all it. clamoring for it anyways. I mean, it's no. Actually, the question last night was about Old Deerfield. Right. Not yeah. about South Deerfield. That's not. It's not ready yet. Yeah, yeah that's what I told good. Skip. That's what Carolyn told Skip. But yeah, the yeah. point is, is that's another 19 million sitting out there that every time we talk about it, it looms larger, whereas phase two really is a more important fix right now. But if the board can't come to, and this is what I'm saying, you're asking the board to come to a decision right now that yes, we've talked about for months, but you hadn't asked the board to come up to scratch about the question. I just, in other words, we're you here just came to, to that conclusion it. today because we're here ready to close the warrant and for the last three weeks there hasn't been anything on here for it and that's my fault because i'm like what do we need i don't know what what that i it's hard for me to understand how the timing works on all this stuff the funding how we're going to are we going to group the three million into into the 22 it is a there? complex it's, project it's it really is complex and i never know what the right answer is i don't know how to do this you know I'm i i think <laughs> The reason why I think we need a placeholder is because we could have we could realize significant savings by having water line. So here's the issue. We also need by we order ballots. Yep. Wednesday afternoon. Okay. Wednesday afternoon. That question has to be settled before Wednesday. In other words, I have to have complete verbiage from Lisa before Wednesday. Okay, well, the verbiage is identical, so I would just change the number from 19 to 3 and let it fly. Unless or see what she thinks if it needs to change, but it would be completely There's different. in the in the actual warrant. There is no number. Right, but in the in the uh, ballot, oh, shall it? there's a there's a number. Yeah, in the article and the other one, there's not. It's pretty it'd be the same thing other than the article number and the time of the day of the year of the meeting. So the, the rest of the um, article, the rest of the warrant, I mean, looks good. The acknowledgement of gifts, I assume eventually we list out. Do we list those out at all? Like We usually list those yeah. out in a, in a table. A little table. So let's start from the top. Um, so the reason we group these, these, some of these articles, articles in the beginning, and I think the ballot question has to be, has to come before article one, but don't quote me, um, just based on past experience in Ashfield. So we group things together in consent articles. I did ask Darius to make sure that my school committee, um, compensation for elected officers is correct. So, pers so in this in this first consent article, it also includes the funding authority. Um, oh, the contract authority and grants. So we've grouped that all together. We would add the library interest in as a table and the acknowledgement of gifts in as a table. Article the second article is revolving funds, and that re that's just a revote of the funds yep. and spending limits. Look for the on. existing funds yep. now the third article and i haven't numbered them on purpose Fine. because i will get there the third article is a revolving fund but it requests an amendment to the bylaw to add another revolving fund and that's okay. for the foster care transportation got it so lisa will treat the language and as as i 
noted on Wednesday, we have the memorandum of understanding authorization for the foster care transportation program itself. Yep. That follows because they go together. Um, and then the next consent article is special appropriations. Again, it's, it's grouped together because it fits together. So we have we reserve always, fund. We can, always we can break it out. Yeah. We can always break it out on town meeting floor if for some reason there's a problem. Right. So. It looks good. Um, I did correct the out of district placement appropriation, Carolyn. It's actually 64.5. I only read one port, one part of, of Brenda's number. So it was a, she caught it before, she caught okay. it right before the meeting. So it's 64,500. And then the, the 10,000. Okay, that's good. And then the compensation plan. Compensation plan. And then the omnibus chart. budget. Yep. The, and then the sewer wastewater enterprise fund. So then should we put the um should we just put the article whatever Prop right two and a half there? right there? Yeah. I had it further down, but we can. The the twenty oh wherever wherever you want. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I just if it's well it goes with know. wastewater. I yeah. from a strategic perspective, there may be a recommendation from council, but I can move it. I've got a basic draft that you, while you guys were talking about the neighborhood thing, I was finding mm -hmm. that a basic draft for it. That's and I true. used the 2019 yeah. vote or um, article, warrant article. Yeah, perfect. So I think we probably may need a little bit of tweaking on it, but at least it's a reference is there. Yeah. So then we have scams. Yep. And capital. Okay, so there's two things here. I put a placement article in for 22 capital projects because if you recall, Carolyn, I was thinking about this after the meeting, actually, after I talked to you this morning. Um, does HVAC things, so the police HVAC and the air conditioning for the school, um, actually, police HVAC has been on your radar screen for two years. So just for ha-has, we're gonna talk to Tom Scanlon, but just for ha-has, I want a placeholder for 22 capital projects because if we could do, get the approval for the HVAC funds or the HVAC for the police department in 22 and did a revenue replacement with ARPA, we could probably, if we can do that, maybe we could start the project before July 1st. Yeah, but we ha we haven't. Well, I was going to say we haven't released decided how to release the. You can't release it until after April first, so that's on your your agenda for the sixth. So I we mean, could just skip over it if it doesn't work. Right, yeah. we can always take okay. it out before we post. Yeah. And I want to let you know that I talked to Jen Wallace and Brenda. We should probably be prepared to post this thing by the fifteenth. It has okay. to be posted by the eighteenth. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Um, so I put it in there. It's a placeholder. We can always kick it out. But but if we did a revenue replacement, that's actually a fundable. It's an acceptable project. And if town meeting approved it on the 25th of April, there's time because the revenue replacement goes into our coffers and it I is know, capital. I know, but um, I'm really nervous about it. I, 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 we had an MMA meeting this morning, you know, the nominating committee that I was on, and we were talking about ARPA. This is not, I want to stick to something that is definitely not even borderline. And, you know, revenue the, replacement is not borderline. Super easy. Super well, easy. It's uh, easy, Carolyn. Do we'll I need to it. have to, okay, Carolyn, we'll can I ask we'll you a question? On. We'll meet on it. I'm nervous we'll on the later. harbor. This is a side track. It won't. We'll meet on this later. No, yeah. no need to talk about it now. So, but if I don't have a placement, I can't do it. We'll just and leave. we wait until the fall. Just leave, leave it there for now. We can always, we'll, we'll figure it out. Deep breaths, everybody. Deep breaths. So then we have 2023 capital. Okay. And okay, and I talked to Brenda. She wants us to have an article, even if we don't need to do it this way. She wants us to have a placeholder article to reallocate the congregational church repair funds in the event that there is a vote later on to use some of that money to fund another project on our capital spreadsheet. The, the 150. The was, 150. Well, okay. not all of the 150. Oh, but I mean, just somewhere between 75 and 100. Okay. 
because we still need money to finish off that our part of that project yeah so and she says it has to be one like it has to be a specific thing that's why you in my what i did was i i changed the reference slightly and just asked that it be to fund blank capital improvement project and so we are doing a reallocation you have to do it to something specific in her mind so if we have to tweak it that's fine but she you asked me to put it on church capital right? we could do it yeah we could do it well we could do it for another capital project okay um you know i i would feel more comfortable saying that we're going to take the the money that's allocated from the congregational church and and use that money for the police hvac system because you know we're only going to use i mean we're probably going to use 40 or 50 but out of that 150 but that gives us the 100 left over for the hvac and that's already appropriated money just it's appropriated it. we would have to reallocate it's appropriated in for 22 so it makes total sense to transfer that money whatever is left over towards the police station hvac system then and then we can get going on it right away and there's no shenanigans I'm just worried the shenanigans, we got to make sure we're doing exactly what we're supposed to do. I'm, I'm just hesitant, Casey. Yeah, it's, hesitant. it's not, you got to talk to Tom. It's it's not as- it's, I have talked- No, not you. Okay, you know what? No you. matter who I talk to, you don't believe I'm not me. talking to you, Casey. He's talking it, to me. And <laughs> I've told, and it's Take not just me that knows this. It's Take Brenda. We've talked to him three times. I know. Carolyn. I'm trying to give Carolyn. I, some I know, but I'm just repeating conversations I've had with other towns, okay? And other towns are already having to give back money, and I can't stand it. We don't well, have to give anything back, especially if you turn it into that. But again, another meeting, another time. Okay, so police station HVAC, is that what you want me to put down? Well, you're saying yes i would turn i would take the congregation you know what trevor can you un unscreen oh, yeah, share and i'll screen share what i'm talking about and you then you guys can see what i'm talking about yep. hold on a second let me figure out where the heck it all is <laughs> there we go okay because i have like two different versions of the warrant in front of me because that was okay. supposed to just roll into free cash right we, we could have rolled it into free cash or we could have reallocated. I had mentioned that to everybody, including capital, when we first started discussing the capital okay. is the reallocation. And because I figured we could after we got a final bit of information from once I realized in the agreement that there was funding that the town still had to provide. Right. I thought, okay, if we hold aside 50,000, we could reallocate to something else. Initially, right. I was thinking about the, the senior center repairs, but actually after last night, you know, maybe it makes more sense because $100,000 is the tag amount that we have for the HVAC, HVAC right. system right. at and the this, police department. This is already money that we allocated. It's already money sitting there. And then we can have a big meeting about and still be discussing the ARPA funding, okay? I'm just nervous about it based on other people's comments, okay? Other town, okay. Other town experiences, all right? I, I just wanna make sure we're making the right decisions. Yep. Well, we don't have any time to actually do grants, you know. What grant? If we were not to do this as revenue replacement, if we were to do this as grants, there's two funding processes. Grant funding using our grant funding process right. or revenue replacement. Another meeting. <laughs> Another meeting. I don't want to talk. Well, about but that. we're down to almost March 30th. The deadline oh. for the final rule is April 1st. Yep. Yep. So then, all right. So then we have so we have the reallocation. Can you see this? Yep. Yes. Okay. So then we have Frontier Regional Capital, and that's transcribed exactly the way that they gave it to me. Okay. Um. I said something, so Tilden Library put a request in for an additional $25,000 to capital mm -hmm. about a month and a half, a month ago, Carolyn? Uh, yeah, probably at okay. least a month ago. They were, it was, it was fine. That the deadline for that was not a problem. Right. And so what they, what Candace specifically asked me to do is put a separate article for this in, even though they went through the capital process. 
they wanted a separate article. So I drafted a separate article at her request for you guys to review. So that's that. That's what follows the Frontier Regional School one. So I'm trying to sort of keep the capital together if I can. And we can remove that, correct? You can. Yep. All right. Well, I. We, if we're going to close the. If you're going to yeah. close the warrant, you should remove it. Yep. Yeah. Well, I think if, we, you, if you don't want it there, it's it's up to you. It's your warrant. Well, I think we have to because we're. I mean, we're talking about cutting services, so yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not wasting twenty five thousand dollars. It doesn't make well, any sense. No, we talked about this last night, Trevor. The problem is this: this will just give us, you know, it's not enough money to ask for a real um, update of the cost of the library. It's just going to give us you know, enough information and then it will be out of date again. Um, you know, it's going to just going to take an update of the conceptual, um, you know, cost yeah. and, and then it will be out of date again. What, what we have to do is we have to, we have to down react. Down. Don't we have yeah. to redo this process after we find out from MLBC, whether we're approved for the right. program and it has to oh, be, okay. and it has to be for the real the real plan right in the real plan i mean we're we're hoping to get some waivers because if we get um an ear arpa earmark the state arpa money earmark for a senior center we don't need a big meeting room or you know there should be we need to go through the whole library process and see what where, where do we want to request labor waivers remember this is similar to what we started back in 2020 in january of 2020 when we went and met with all the state people mm -hmm. and then they came out with their team and we met with well that was casey's like first day yeah and, and the whole point here is to figure out how we can make the library program you know library expansion work for us um without all the extra expenses of uh, you know, their hoops um, and still keep the $4 million grant. So, but that's a side, okay? The main reason I'm concerned about this article is because we are, you know, we're looking at our budget and cutting services, okay? And potentially, and this, we haven't even as a town agreed to go forward with this and, and, so it seems when we don't have enough money to do anything, we we can't be spending money on something like this. Right. You know, I'm hoping that um, Denise Mason and I have a meeting next week with the trustees, and I'm hoping to convince them that you know this would if if they need a better estimate, you know, hopefully the capital committee would be willing to do this or something like that because it it just. I'm not really sure how useful it will be at this point anyway. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. So, I mean, I would make a recommendation to drop it. I'll second that recommendation. Okay. All those in favor? I, Carolyn. I, Trevor McDaniel. I, I just, again, I just think they can, they're going to have to do one anyways when they get a, a, a actual plan together an estimate on a five-year-old plan that you don't know if you're actually going to build doesn't mean just not a good way to spend money and, and again put it through the capital not as a warrant article for we don't even have any money figured out how you're going to pay for it right well, there's no, no money in capital anyway so right. And we have safety issues that we have to fund for capital. I mean, that was really the discussion. We have mm -hmm. ones that are already pre-approved the third year programs, um, you know, the third year of a three year like rug approval and um, floor approval. But also we have, we can't open the schools if you don't have a commercial dishwasher that is, um, you know, running and you can't sanitize the dishes therefore the kitchen can't run we we right. as a board of health can't authorize the kitchen to run and it's the same as the walk-in cooler at frontier yeah. all these things these this is impacts our ability to operate the kitchens at the schools so we have to fund that and and there mm -hmm. isn't there is i mean we we don't have ability to do that unless we go into the stabilization account so yeah. uh i i you know to spend money on the estimate of an estimate or the conceptual design estimate, it doesn't seem like it's a good 
priority of money expenditures. Right. That was our discussion last night. Okay. So I'm just bringing that forward as my personal opinion as well. That's all. So you've got the preservation fund and all the articles that go with that. Okay. Yeah. And we'll have more information a little bit later down the line. Okay. So John reminded me that we are not at the third year point for the park. So I removed that article. Okay. Next year we will. So we'll have time to do this on the next annual town meeting warrant. But you, but you did put to. on the Indian house. I did put the Indian house on okay. and I did my best to come up with language with Brenda. If we have to tweak it a little, that's fine. But I actually used some of the language that was in the original article that was voted before I got here. Okay. Um, then we have the two articles for settlements of collective bargaining agreements. I'm going to, I would like to leave those in there. Yeah. Or because, do they go near the capital stuff or the money stuff or no? Right. It's well, it, what it would do is it also can serve as notification to the town meeting of what the settlement costs are. Yeah. Um, even I think, I really do think we should put it in the budget and I've talked to Brenda about that, but we aren't quite there yet. So if we have a placeholder, we could, cause you could actually use this placeholder to set up a special fund to hold that money too. It doesn't just have to be a notification article. I talked to Kate about it. Okay. Um, you know, I think it's better if we could get them to get all this settled. Yeah. And okay. by the time we get to the final warrant, like the final version of the warrant, um, we'll ha hopefully have a better idea of where we are. So that's what those two things are. Um, then we have the July storm spending and the snow and ice shortfall. Nice email did today, you, huh? Hey, did yeah, you I know. email? Why I did. That? I'm so excited. That was uh, quite a bit different than, our, uh, than we were expecting. Oh yes. yeah, no. Were, I was expecting like one hundred and twenty thousand. So to get yeah. three hundred, whatever, was amazing. Yeah. So actually, we had Brenda and I had a conversation about that. We think we should put that into a special revenue, a special fund, um, as opposed to letting it roll to free cash and having to appropriate. Well, we don't know. The problem with that, Casey, is we don't really know what the hazards mitigation match will be for the like the river road project um, if it's sitting in that fund it would be easier to appropriate right Right, it's a special fund it's like a grant fund then, Carolyn. then you then well, it's all right, cash. All right. you can hang on to it for so that do we project. have to do we have to vote that to a special fund yeah you would vote um upon receipt at your next meeting as a select board member you can treat it like a grant because yeah. it's okay. it's that's then, how i would do it and we can spend that money on those projects and not just to any other i mean just because it's so hard to get money for restoration work there's right. also if we have further needs that we aren't aware of like you me and and carolyn aren't aware of but that chris miller or kevin has in their head that they wanted to finish we could use those funds to finish that work if there was okay. additional we just stuff. have to be careful on how we label, uh, label it you know like july july storm damage money or something like that i mean mm -hmm. Because you do want it to make sure that it's it is replacing this, you know, like the damage. The, river, the damage from River Road, right? Right. I mean, we've got to come up with that money somewhere. Right. Right, and you're right. If it's sitting somewhere, even if it's in a grant fund, if it's sitting somewhere that we can reference as a grant as a match, it does well, certainly and, help and us, right? Also, yeah. Well, it does because it certifies. I mean, you got to certify that you have the match money before they release us. The right. Right. And that'll be good match money. Yeah, no, I mean, that's that goes a long way to whatever the match is. I mean, yeah, very I mean, grateful I, to them. Uh, we're, yeah, me too. I mean, I was looking at our match would be between probably between five and six, five, six, seven hundred thousand, something like that. So, you know, having at least half or three quarters of the match is unbelievable. And, right. Um, and maybe. I mean, I'm still hoping that it won't be as expensive, but right. whatever. I know it's multi-million dollar fix, probably. At this at this day and age, anyway. 
So we've got the proceeds from the. Okay, so we tweaked this a, w a little, and I do yeah. think the council's going to tweak it more. But um, what we, what the intent is, is to be able to use the proceeds from the sale of the property to pay down the ban. So if you look down at the bottom here, hold on. If you look down the bottom of here, that is actually we changed the the we changed the language a bit to say and subject to the due date of the bond anticipation note because based on what you signed the other day we actually have to we can't pay it early we have to pay it on time so if the money comes in we put it in if town meeting approves this the money comes in we set it aside in, in its own account and then we pay it when the bond comes due okay so you don't have and then any proceeds would roll to free cash a okay. roll to the general fund um we don't know um when this is going to close have you heard anymore we don't know right now they had due diligence that they needed to do as part of their environmental work okay all right okay and then then we have okay so here's one thing that that brenda said to me is she said we should put request for we should add to separate into the title of the article for the special act okay and so that's what i did it reads there was one she found a clerical error in the first in section two and she asked me what section five means and so far as i understand section five means that as soon as it's passed we can hire somebody yeah okay okay Looks um good. Then we have the speed limits request and I have a sneaking suspicion. The only thing I'm worried about in this one is um, the districts piece of it. I use language that was an example from John. So I'm, I wanna see what Lisa has to say about it and whether she makes tweaks. Because what I don't wanna do is limit us to just thickly settled or business. It may be our, our business district. We may wanna think about I think you can do this for any road, but I don't want to be too limiting. So that's one question I had for you guys. I've never used, I've never had to do one of these articles, so I'm not real familiar with it. Um, so that was all, my only question. And the reason it came up is I was just thinking as I was reading it this morning. And then I left a placeholder for the sewer bylaw. But you took. But I don't order. have an answer from Lisa. That's why it's still there as a placeholder. Okay. What was the sewer bylaw? The, oh, the district. Kind district of questions. Yeah. yeah. We're not ready for. I don't think. I just can't imagine we'd get something together in a month on that or a week. You, well, you actually have something drafted. It's been drafted for four years. Yeah, yeah we I know. Talked, we've talked not, about this for a long time, Trevor. I, I'm not. But, I just don't. I don't know. I think a lot of work would need to go into that, thinking about how you're going to split that and how are you going to treat the residents of certain districts you know um i think there's a i think there's a, a there's a better way to do it um because the whole idea is to make sure they're covering their costs and i think we can do that i have no doubt about that well i don't have an answer from lisa about whether you can create districts in a regulation if you can't create districts in a regulation and you don't are you prepared to wait till the fall is really the question, Trevor? No, yeah. no, just, well, just, Trevor, we don't, we can just do a placeholder. This is not oh, going to yeah. be printed out for a while. Just leave it in Fine. here until we get. We got two time. weeks to finalize it. Yeah. So if you want me to take it out, I can take it out, but I can't put it back in. That's the thing. Well, if she wants to keep it in, so that's fine. I, I just don't, there's no reason to do one right now. Well, but don't you remember what we heard at the meeting yes but i think there's a better way to do that than this this is jumping the gun i think it can be done at any time yeah but it this doesn't, doesn't have to mean that right we now. have to do it what's that i said we we can pass it over yeah i just i think it creates um you know it's a printed thing out there that creates angst when it doesn't need to be there it's like what okay. it just well, no, I'm, I don't. I want no, to leave it in because she leave wants to in. leave it in. But I, I just think it's a mis. I, I don't want to set the wrong expectation because that it doesn't help us negotiate. Well, I, I just leave it in and for another 
till we hear from Lisa anyway. Okay. And then we can have a discussion, all three of us. Yeah, um, David is with a customer right now. So, okay. okay. And then the last thing we had, and I, the last thing we had is that resolution. I did fix the last page. So I made sure that we had 2022, everybody's names in place. Okay. And I referenced Jen Wallace as the assistant town clerk. Okay. All right. Um, there is no zoning, so it's a lot shorter. Mm -hmm. So do, do we have any info on this flag thing? Is it something we support? I, I, I don't know. This is a citizen's it. petition. I do you oh, want me to is. spend time? Yeah, yeah, it's a citizen's oh, petition. Okay. Do you fine. want me to spend time to researching it? No, nope. nope. if, nope. if the citizens asked and they got the signatures, it's on the warrant. That's fine. What I would so what I probably will do because what I'd like to be able to do is at least send a draft out to everybody, which is why the question about the sewer bylaw is a question. Um, I'd like to be able to send a draft out to Council and Dan and Jen Wallace so they can start to see what the warrant's shaping up to look like. That's fine. Um, and that's going to be one of the things that Dan asks about. He's going to want to talk to the person that coordinates for Deerfield for the citizens petition. Okay. So, because normally they would coordinate with the moderator as it's the moderator's meeting and decide right. who's going to speak. And then he'll, he'll make sure in his moderator's motion, if it's a person that doesn't live in town, that, that they have the ability to speak. Yeah. So yeah, he'll, he'll get a little more information and he will probably let them speak. Most moderators do. Yeah. I mean, I, and it may be just, that he talks to Lori Busada. About it. I'm very curious about it. I just don't know anything about it. So that's all um okay so the oh carolyn did you see the spending limit change so you had mentioned and it was for foster care transportation yeah um, i was concerned based on our experience with smith volk that i the hundred thousand is way too low so is 200 do you think 200 thousand higher enough yeah i would I can't imagine that we have that many kids that would be involved okay I mean, yeah it just it may look like a lot to everybody else the the reason but you can't spend it if you don't get it exactly right exactly so, so you would eventually get it it's probably going to be an outlay first and then a return right but transportation can get very expensive very quickly so to carolyn's point two hundred thousand is probably a more comfortable number to be at we just may have to explain it at town meeting that's fine so i just that I thought about that when I was revising it this morning. Okay. So that's really what it looks like. If you look at the top here, so after our conversation earlier, um, so what I did, normally you mention a ballot question in the warrant. So I have a placeholder for a ballot question notification, which is this right here. Did we do that last time? I don't think we did. Well, we did it in Ashfield, and so maybe care maybe Lisa can correct me. And the only reason I wonder about this is because Ashfield's annual election and their town meeting was the same day. But I think you do. I what I was trying to do was find the warrant for when this was voted. When did you vote? It's, it's when voted. did you vote this the sewer? 2019. It's in the, it's in the report here. I can give you all this if you want. Well, what date was the because I'm looking for the language from the annual town meeting warrant. Yeah, that, isn't this the annual town meeting warrant? It's in the book. Is it special or annual? It's it's our it was our annual meeting. Okay, because that's and what then I can't voted, find. And then and then and then we had a, a vote like in May and it failed. And then we went back and did public hearings and then we did another vote in September and it passed. Okay. So I can give you the you know Well, the, I can the, what I'm trying to do is find a copy paste of it that I can yeah, use so I don't yeah. have to retype it. That's oh, no, why. exactly. Yeah, it should be in the I don't know if we have a digital copy of the 2019. That's what I was hoping we would have is a digital copy of this thing. Yeah. Um and I that's what I can't seem to find. I if, uh, you know, uh Pat probably has oh, it. Oh, here it is. Oh, you got it? Okay. It's article 25. Okay, and that's actually what I took this language here, because isn't, let me ask you a question, the ballot question on the ballot is much shorter than what's on the oh, article. Yeah. 
Absolutely, yeah. It just says shall so, the Deerfield be allowed to exempt the provisions of the yeah. two and a half or so called amounts, blah blah blah, for the work being done. Doesn't even talk about a, an amount of okay. money. Okay, because normally a ballot question doesn't talk about the money. The money actually gets discussed in the motion of the warrant. Um, so that, because I looked back at Ashfield's, we had a prop two and a half ballot okay. question, two for something else. So I just wanted to look at it. I will pass that to, to Lisa and ask her to correct me on it. Um, Dave wasn't, a, that's weird. Dave's name is on this, but he wasn't a member in 2019, was he? I mean, he didn't sign he it. Get, he, well, he may have gotten elected. Oh, that would he be got the elected year he in got 2019. Elected. Right, yeah. by June. Yeah, I was you elected that year. Oh, there he is. There he is. No video, but. That's okay. That's all right. That's welcome. okay. That's fine. I'm glad so, you did. So what we're talking about, we went through the warrant. Um, David. Yeah, I, I caught some of it. So, okay. So there's a couple things that got added and and one thing that got taken away. We added, like we discussed, I added the extension of the Bloody Brook India House rehab. But yeah, yeah. we're not at the we're not at the third year of our funding for the park. So I removed that article after I talked to John and Brenda. And yeah, but, I, um, Casey, you know, when I think about it, though, even though um, well, I guess we could just wait another year. It wouldn't matter. Yeah, because it's not critical. We haven't even started construction. So next year, I think we'll have time to do it. Okay. To All do right. an article because, you know, figure we're in the construction season. We'll know by next, probably February, how whether things are going to get finished. So okay. that was, that was, you know, Brenda's thought after she and I talked was, hey, we're not towards the end of it yet. We're two thirds of the way through, but we're not at the end. Right. So, and even then, if we had to, we could go to special and ask for an extension as well, as long as town meeting votes it. Because recall, we asked for the initial amount of money in an annual and then the additional amount of money in a special. That's true. Okay. I'm just trying to be cautious. Dave, Dave, we um we added a warrant article and a ballot question for three million bucks at the South Deerfield wastewater treatment facility yep. for that yep. extra the phase two alternates and just see see if that'll fly. Hopefully people will recognize we should finish that well, up. Well, you know, we're gonna have an informational night and Trevor, yep. it really doesn't hurt to keep going over the sewer because absolutely. As much as I've been involved following the paperwork, I was yeah. looking like, whoa, we don't really have to, we don't have to worry about it. But in actuality, we're using up our money and then we do have to think about yeah. the other three million. Yeah. Because we don't actually get our grants until we use all of the money that we borrowed, right? right? Exactly. Right. right. And yeah. that was why I was thinking, well, we don't even really have to worry about it. We'll just turn it around and put it back in. But yeah. Um, so if I'm if I'm a little does bit that confused, qualify for debt exclusion? Yes, that's what yes. we're asking for. Yes, a okay. debt exclusion on that. Debt exclusion okay. for the additional three million. And then yeah. it goes on the ballot. Okay. So I found an old ballot question, the ballot question that was actually passed, and I and I after Trevor after Trevor and I just talked a second ago, I found I think I found the right language for the annual town meeting warrant article. Great. But again, we'll have Lisa tweak it. Yeah, if she's got to change something, that's fine. Yeah, yep. but the, one of the reasons I wanted to, since we're going to do that, if that's the pleasure of the board, and so David, if you want, they've already voted it. This, yeah, but I, I, I want to hear but he what wants, he wants David. to know what you want to, what you think, David. Yeah, I think we should add it. Okay. Okay. We got to add it. You know, we don't really have much choice in the matter. Yeah. Well, the potential is there to save some money, so it doesn't make yeah. sense yeah. not to try to save some money. And if right. we right. if we end up it appears that we don't save money, then we would put it off and yeah. get some grant issue. Absolutely, you know? yeah. absolutely yep. tie it into another larger grant program if we can. Yeah. And yeah. so the other thing that came up, and it came through our email this afternoon. Carolyn forwarded it to me. The we did get some information back from Joe Comerford's office. We're going to get storm damage funding from them. We're going to get three hundred seventy-six thousand dollars. 
So Carolyn, we need to, if we don't want to have that storm funding article, we need to make a budget adjustment in our books to take the 90,000 out of that amount first in a special revenue fund. So we need to pay our 90,000 out with this first leaves us a little over 200,000 left. Well, I thought we were using 20,000 from the leftover money from Mill Village to um, damage to do to pay. So it's only we can. Brenda asked me that before the meeting. She said, well, let me know what we need to do about the 20,000. So we get 376 from the state, David. We had we had talked about it Wednesday. We have 20,000 sitting in a emergency watershed protection account that we could use. And so we had talked about trying to save some free cash by right. using that EWP money. So Carolyn, yep. we could still do that. Um, but that 70,000 that's left, we should use these funds to pay for it. So it's literally a budget adjustment that Brenda does. Yeah, because I would rather have that sitting there. I mean, I'd rather pay off the 70 right. and then have to think about replacing that 70 at at some point it also gives us it, it gives us ninety thousand. what we would have taken from free cash because we had already set that aside yeah. that goes back into free you know that ninety thousand that we had already thought about now becomes a funding source which helps us with capital carolyn right and yeah. i think we have to do that because we prioritized last night david uh, the capital oh that's it. and um the situation with the capital is that um, you know, we have to do the commercial dishwasher. We have to do the yeah. walk-in cooler. Yeah. We have, we should do the wood chipper because you know that's a safety thing. There's no safety, safety concern. There's yeah. no safety thing on the wood chipper, and it's really really old. And I, you know, if anyone got hurt, it would be horrendous. Yeah. And the cost of the chipper would be would be Nothing so far less. To the yeah. I mean, you you would our person would be hurt, our employee would be hurt, but also we we get a workers' comp, um, you know, mm -hmm. multiple. And they have to use the chipper first to get hurt. Yeah, but they do. They do it all the time, and every every. I have seen them dragging it around. I I. It doesn't have that safety mechanism. It doesn't have a safety mechanism, and they're still like using safety arm. Yeah, and they're still using it, and I yeah. I, don't, I don't want them to use it. I mean, I feel like it's a safety issue. Uh, every time I think of that, I think of the movie Fargo. Yeah. yeah well, just think about that. That's terrible. I know. Yep. So, um, you know, so I think we should use this storm money was a lot more than we anticipated. I was only anticipating like 120 something thousand. Great. That's we ended great. Up, we ended up with 276 something. I so feel like it's a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's why it's going in a revolving fund. Just yeah, to, just in case. Let's, so, do you want me to take the article off, guys? Yes, I yeah. would. Okay. Yep, that makes sense. Okie dokie, I'll take that off. So, because we can do all this as a select board, right? We can vote the money and then yeah. pay the bill. Yeah, if we bring it, so it'll come to us, and you just vote to put it in a a fund that has a name that relates to what. The Joe Comerford was working on. Right, the, the yeah. July storm damage. And this is July storm damage that we've already paid out. So that would be no right. who's paying it. Okay. Right. But do you still want to use 20,000 of that EWP or do you want to sit on it? Well, the problem is the EWP money is restricted to that area right where our project between our two projects so okay yeah so I, we should we should do you want to use all of it or do you want to no, use no, some no, of no, it no no just no because i think um that that we should leave a little bit of money in there because we're going to have annual maintenance um uh, on that area okay that's what you had said before i just wondered well, between richardson's candy kitchen and mill village um culvert there's going to be a, hopefully an annual clean out occurring um, under the bundled NOI. But anytime we have an event where more silt comes down through, you know, off pump deck, comes through Wapping Road in five and 10, we're gonna have a mess. So we have to have the ability to use some of that money some of the time for, you know, to hire someone to come in. Okay. It's emergency, it's for emergency basis. 
I okay. So if that's where we are, I, I took out July. And if you want me to screen share again, I can. No. I, so I, I took that out. Um, and so do you want me to just give, do you want to list David or do you want me to? Um, no. Okay. So it's basically the other thing that I changed, David, was the spending limit on the foster care transportation after the conversation you all had on Wednesday. So I increased that from 100,000 to 200,000. Yeah, because that. It's closer to what we I could expect. In, I came in the part of that conversation where that has to be spent before it can be, right? Right. Or it, it allocated be before it can be spent or something. Well, right. we have that to have be. a place to put the money. We may be able to spend out of it knowing yeah. that you're going to get money back, but you got to have the revolving okay. fund set up. Okay. So, and the other thing I did in special appropriations, I started putting the numbers in. So the OPEB number, reserve fund, Smith Volk or out of district transportation, um, those numbers got put in. And so I would just been tweaking it with Brenda, but I did tell the board um, that I want to be able to send this basic draft out to Dan Graves and Lisa as soon as I can so that they're okay. aware of what they're what's in front of them. Okay. And then the other vote that the board took was to, so I had mentioned that Candace had asked for a separate article for the Tilton Library estimate. No of way. 25,000. The board took a vote to remove that article Thank from you. the warrant. Thank you. Oh, well, Dave, we discussed it last night at Capitol and um, it's, it's, we don't have enough money we're, we're considering cutting services we're um you know don't have enough money for we feel that is number one priority safety priority for the town to operate and um for capital and this this is a money for conceptual design update which isn't actually the design that they would actually build necessarily right. yep. and so you're asking the town to spend money which we don't have on 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 this so denise they mason, have funds they could use right well denise mason and i are, are going to talk to the library trustees because we're not really sure how valid this would be anyway because by the time you go to the process um the the, the it could be out of date because right. the the whole construction i mean we're finding the whole construction yeah. industry is so vo volatile that it's just not gonna you know it's not stable so it's almost it's 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 just not a good expenditure of money when we have no money. Yeah. So the other thing that they discussed was the sewer bylaw question. Because Trevor, why don't you tell them what your concerns are before you guys finalize I was, I was the meeting? On, I was on when you were discussing that. Okay. So we can leave it there, pass yeah. it over. We could because you know, to Trevor's point. We don't know what this is going to look like, but to Carolyn's point, if nothing's there and we find out it would be useful for us to have a bylaw in place, we don't have the ability to do it again until the fall. Yeah. So it is the conundrum, but the board had voted to, so the two of them had voted to leave it on there. I don't know how you feel about that. Uh, I think we should leave it on there only so that we can at more as a placeholder than anything right now because we don't know what the nonprofits are going to do for us and stuff and we want to make sure we don't shoot ourselves in the foot in the process by what the bylaw was spelling out but i'm not sure we have any i i actually i mean we did do some groundwork on it but it's been at least two or three years since i've seen it yeah so i mean i don't want to I, I, I'm not sure if I do I'm support not, it yet. I'm not, I don't remember even looking at it. It was it. I, I said, so somebody gave it to you in 2019 and I resent it in 2020, but I can send it again. Yeah. But I just knew that this was a question that Kevin had. And after the conversation the other day, I thought, well, put the placeholder in and I can send out the, the information. Yeah. This was based on um, originally trying to update the rates, Trevor. Yeah. And, you know, uh, and when we were talking about funding separately, the, the sewers separately and stuff, right. I mean, this, this isn't new. This is- No, I, I, I know, 
I, yeah, I'm, this was when Mark Gilmore was on the board still with me. Yeah. You need a quieter keypad, Casey. Yep. Hey. <laughs> I can either turn myself into a mute person or not. Yeah. So if that's if everybody's okay with that, I can print it out for you guys and okay. leave it in your boxes. Okay. But this would so this has to close. So you guys need to vote to close the warrant as of today. Make a motion yeah. to close the warrant. Uh, We'll second that. Any further discussion? No, thank you. Nope. Hearing none. All those in favor? Aye, Carolyn. Aye, Trevor McDaniel. Aye, Dave Wolfram. Okay. I took out storm the storm one. <laughs> okay. All right. So I will make a couple revisions. I'll leave what's in there as placeholders and we'll I can send you the, the sewer stuff. Because I okay. found it on Thursday morning because I went looking for it. Okay. Okay. Um, and I think that's it. I don't have any updates on the chief water chief chief operator. Okay. So. Yeah. That's all we have to talk about. I think. Yeah. Well, listen. Have a good oh, weekend, everybody. Dave, I, I didn't tell Dave. Uh, just Dave, we we went ahead with a letter of support for the grant thing that um, Carolyn and um, De uh, Denise and Lily Lily were working on um, and they they are taking all the um, administrative work from it they think most of it will not be hitting us but um, anything okay. that you found they're going to work on just so there's okay. no administrative yeah no as long administrative as he's not putting the burden on yeah. Oh, there's no administrative anything. All okay. you, yeah. The only commitment is you have to uh, go to meetings if you get money. And so, yeah. okay. um, it's it what it is. Is. and then no money comes to us, even right. if we get money for technical support, it's they, they hire third party technical support. So they do it all. They do it all. And yeah. all, and the reporting, there is no reporting requirement, but their only requirement is you just come and mm -hmm. report that person someone came in and actually told you what they were supposed to do or whatever whatever okay. you're okay. to do so we're going okay. to do uh denise is the point person lily and i are the backup people so that okay. there will be somebody from deerfield going to the meetings if necessary okay and we, and we talked about the district so we figured out the district that would connect with um waitley uh you know would hit hit waitley a bit I okay. guess they met, they met with um, Hannah, the planner down in Waitley earlier today. And, yep. the, you know, basically the district is our district that we're talking about. We're talking about um, the park, Brayburn, over to Elm Circle, and then down to the town common. Okay. Or, well, Leary Lot, Leary Lot, yeah. Elm Street, and all that. Yeah. You know, it's where we're all, all doing our activity. Yep. Sounds we, good. Consider, we consider that the neighborhood. Yeah, sounds good. And you can have multiple neighborhoods. You can do, I mean, this is the only one that we're putting forward at the moment, but you can yeah. have multiple different neighborhoods. Okay. And Did you, you have something? That, yeah, yeah. And you can do that anytime with the grant. I mean, it can be adjusted. Your neighborhoods could be adjusted. Great. Casey? There was one other thing I wanted to let people know. Ken Cutterback and I have been going back and forth. I think Tritown has a meeting on Monday. Um, we did do a little research about how the beach was created. So I found the town meeting article that created the beach. Um, and it actually mentions Waitley, Sunderland and Deerfield. So this must have been before Sunderland decided not to do it. Um, because Ken did confirm that they're talking to Sunderland about whether Sunderland wants to come in on the beach. I just wanted to let you know that it's out there because okay. he actually asked me so that we could decide whether we needed to put something on the warrant. That's when I went back and looked for the warrant article. So the warrant article covers us. If Sunderland wants to do anything, Sunderland has to do it themselves. 
Okay. That warrant article stands and it was approved. Yeah. What I don't have is an agreement. So I was trying to get in touch with Sharon about an agreement because I thought they had something in writing, but I can't find anything. And neither can Brian Domino. Brian found a Waitley is a town bylaw about the beach. We just had the town meeting vote. If there's an agreement out there, it's hiding in somebody's back closet. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we're going to keep working on that. But if you hear any, if anybody contacts you about the beach, we're we're looking for information at this point. Okay. All right. Yeah, I know Jonathan Edwards wants it for himself, but. <laughs> well, it is in Waitley. And actually, yeah. Brenda, Brenda and Sarah and I had some ideas about that, but we want to see an agreement before we share anything. Okay. And I let the guys know. I let Jeff and Brian know about it, that. I want to talk to them. I just need some more information. Okay. All right. Very good. Okie dokie. So you guys are posted for Tuesday. And Carolyn, I did post Capital just in case. I, I think, well, um, I think Denise is going to come uh, anyway. Because we'll, we'll report what's going on. Okay. And so just to cover everybody's butts, you're posted. Okay. okay. Is that five what time are we? What time are we posted? Tuesday, you're posted. So that, five o'clock. Yeah, five o'clock. Finance. So, so you posted CIPC. I posted CIPC. Select board and finance were already posted. Oh, okay. Perfect. Right. But I posted CIPC after talking to Brenda when she, because Julie had had some sort of communication. I so I posted just in case. You can always not start a meeting. <laughs> the only thing that um, I would ask you to do is just throw that three million under, um, you know, we where you had the Tilton Library. Yep, I already put it in and I sent it to Mark and I, I explained that I wanted to talk to him about it, but it is, it says for consideration because, you know, there wasn't an application, but every time we've talked, we've talked about, and actually you and I had talked about putting old Deerfield in there, not even the 3 million from no, South no, Deerfield. No, 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 I know. I think three, I think the old Deerfield should be listed. It's just that there's no application. There's right. no... We and haven't decided what to right. do. That's why but I just said for consideration. Be, right. It should still be listed. It's just that we're not doing anything with it at the moment because we're not sure how we're doing it. Right. Yep. So it just needs to be listed. Yep. It's there. Okay. okay. So I that means I have to put an application in for capital to consider. No, no, because we don't, you don't have. No, any, for the 3 million, not the 19, oh, yes, the yes. 3 million. The 3 million. The three million to be considered, um, um, and actually we could vote it for Tuesday if it's already posted meeting. I posted the meeting. I didn't, and I put capital projects on there. It's all it's been on there. But, so uh, what I would have to do is get the capital project application finished, and and that's we have a quorum already. Um, if because um, Skip is there. And Denise and I. Right. And that's Mark the other there. reason I wanted you guys posted is because you do actually have a quorum. And I know. Capital. So we could vote that three million. Just you could. The, um, you could. So why don't you? Um, well, when you talk to Mark Brennan, ask him if he wants Skip. You know, just to vote it that night so that Skip Sobieski could be um, pulled in because he's the only one that wasn't going to come. Everybody else is going to be there at the meeting. Okay. Well, I sent I sent Mark an email, so we're hoping to talk to each other on Monday. Yeah, no, um, that's that's. I just want Mark to be aware of it. That's yeah. It. Okay. Okay. So I need to do some things with this lovely warrant we have, um, but I do have to get that capital thing done. Okay. For those for the three million, so that it officially has gone to capital before the warrant hits the street. To, if you want me to fill it out. You know what I was going to do, Trevor, is I was going to reference the plan. The So the plan, the old Deerfield, South Deerfield plan or memo that we have from DPC explains yeah, the recent one. Yeah, that, I mean, that tells everything that tells everybody everything. So I was just going to it. That's what I mean. It'll only take me about 10 minutes if that's how I do it. Yeah, I would right. do that. What, what you want to make sure is you're including page two and three. Yeah, I mean, uh, three and four. I'll just put the whole thing in there and just reference pages three and four. 
Yep. Okay. Perfect. All right. And then I want to get that emailed out before I leave today so that everybody's aware that this has a correlation in the warrant. Okay. 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 We, I think we should have an information night scheduled tentatively. Actually, I was going to ask Julie if she would talk about that on Tuesday because I think oh, we okay. should. So maybe it is a good idea if we if we try to schedule something because technically that's not a finance committee thing. She, I would love her to be involved because she's so yeah. she's so good at you know the putting together and the financial indicators would be a great way to begin it. Yeah, that's what we used to do in Ashfield. It was a more simplified version, but we used to do that in Ashfield. So maybe we could talk about it with them on Tuesday, so that everybody can set a date. I would. I would like us. Do we have anything scheduled for April fourteenth, right now? 14th uh, or 13th? No, the 14th. Is it when or, or we could do the 13th or the 14th because 13th is an off selectman's night. You're right. Yeah, the 13th is an off selectman's night. Um, do it that night. Why don't we do it that night? So you okay. want to schedule a public information session on the 13th? Yep. Yes. Um, okay, and then and then what we will do, the, the one thing, I mean, this will be quick for the most part because there's hardly any articles on there. But um, I what I want, Trevor, is um, we need to walk through, you know, if we could have, think about this memo and what you just told me, mm -hmm. because I had in my mind what was going on. And yeah. like, okay, we don't need to borrow any more money because we'll get reimbursed for what we already paid out. And then we'll have, you know, be able to then roll it over to, phase two, and we have almost 3 million that we haven't spent. So what you have to explain is the chronological money mm -hmm. and what we're trying to do. And that if we don't save money, then we won't do it. But right. if it looks like we're going to be able to save some money. So why wouldn't we try to do it? And, yeah. um, and I think that's, you know, we get, you got to understand, People have to understand. Well, why are you doing this? Yeah, okay. for sure. So, what we were, what you need to think about is how do you explain that chronological change, both in the the project, but also the money. Yeah. Because in in essence, we should have actually, you know, not have to go out and borrow anymore because we'd be getting the USDA money back. But yeah. Um, I, does, do we get it? I don't think we get it back. I think it just comes off the loan, right? Right. Well, it comes up, but we still we have we went and we had the borrowing capacity for nineteen million. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. yeah. So we yeah. don't. In my mind, we would. You would just switch over that. Yeah. We would just have it would just roll into the under the nineteen because we are you know spending already spending nineteen, but. You know, this explains it without people freaking out. What you yeah. want to do is saying, "Well, this this makes more sense. Right. And keep our costs down. You're you're already saving the escalation of construction costs, whatever it is. Huge. Yeah, the mobilization. All right. That. And and so this is why we're trying to do it. And then you know, but people aren't going to. I mean, I, you had to explain it to me from yeah. me. So yeah. there is going to be a, a not a clear understanding yep for sure it's okay. complicated yeah okay thank you sure motion oh, to adjourn what, what, oh what time are we going to do public information at can we do it at five five thirty uh, the problem is that's so early casey it is people are working especially especially when it's light out you you want people the whole point of the and that's why i was thinking actually it should be seven Oh, yeah. It shouldn't be six. It should be seven because if you know people are still outside doing stuff at six. Except those of us that have to prep for all of it. That's a 15 hour day, Carolyn. I know, Casey, but all right, let's we'll work, we'll talk about the time, okay? I just the other the only re, the only other reason I'm asking is actually the one of the reasons that finance does things so early is because it works better with their schedules and I certainly think it's a good idea to make sure that finance wants to come so but, but before we have a 
But what's the purpose of a public information night? It's to get the public informed. And if you have no public, I mean, if it's pouring rain out, it's not gonna be an issue. But if it's a lovely spring night, we'll get nobody. And so it'd be a waste of effort. And so I'm just- So seven? I'm just saying, we can discuss it, Casey. I totally understand. I would rather have it at five or six myself. Yeah, six. Six or seven. She wants to do it at seven, Trevor. Six. You know, the, the whole purpose is to get people to listen to us, Trevor. That's all. I know. But, well, that's true. It isn't very long. Although. The presentation, just because the warrant isn't long, doesn't mean the talking points are. We don't have to talk. It's Friday afternoon. I, I'm supposed to be right. at a four o'clock meeting. So um, a webinar. Um, so don't worry. Skip it. Skip the webinar, Carolyn. No, I'm, I'm trying to hustle money. Five. Yeah, don't nobody's hustle money on five on Friday. So why don't we bring this up on Tuesday and talk to Finance Committee and Capital too? Because it would be useful to have a Capital member there. Yep. yep. Okay. Separate from you know the two finance committee people. Yeah. So, okay. Motion right. to adjourn. Yes. I, I make that. Motion. Gabe might be with a client or something, so I'll. Yeah. Uh, so you got second. Uh, all those in favor. Aye. Aye, Trevor McDaniel. Thank I can't you. Win that. So, okay. Thanks, Casey. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Have a good weekend.